Hello, plant community. Thanks for tuning into this channel. My name is Pam, and today, you guys, we're at the end of the month, so I'm going to share with you five of my favorite plants that I've been loving on in the month of November. So let's jump into it. After I just said that, you guys, sidebar real quick, November. Wow. Like, what happened to the year, right? 2023 went, like, whew to me in my personal opinion, but here we are. So here, let's go back to the plants. So I have five plants, you guys, that um, I've been loving on in the month of November. And like I said before, you guys, one of the things that I do to help me pick these plants, whether it's been traditionally five, sometimes it may be more, but it's those plants that I know that I spend a lot of attention, admiring, looking, going over, reviewing, examining. Um, and so I just want to take the opportunity to uh, pay homage to these plants. So that's basically how I choose uh, my top picks for the end of the month. So let me just jump into it. My first plant, you guys, is actually a Tenanthe Burl Marxii. <laughs> guys, I love this plant. And the reason why I love this plant, of course, anybody can love this plant because of the beautiful um, contrast between the dark green and the minty green color followed by the beautiful purple backs that most of these prayer plants are known for having sometimes um, but I really love this plant because I brought it back it was almost it was declining you guys severely um, and I had wound up actually rerooting this baby and then putting it back into soil and now it's just living life I have it in this beautiful little cute little pot um, fitting I feel for being displayed in my kitchen and having on my windowsill in my kitchen and it is loving it um, it's so cute and so dainty and it's been doing a lot of growth right now I don't even know see right here there's a little stem coming out and I do have another shoot a little bit more deep in the pot but I just love this plant and I haven't really been having any issues and if you see you notice you guys I'm just using tap water and for some reason this plant is really good you know of course I have a little bit of let's see this little brown tip but I think the brown tips honestly for me in regards to this plant anyway comes more into play when I forget to water it because I do know the leaves will curl up and crisp really quickly if you miss go a day past the watering for this plant. So I do try to be mindful of that, um, especially since it is in this small little, I guess, three inch planter. But um, I don't know, we've finally came across a better understanding, right? Like you understand me, I understand you, and we're getting along, right? No? Oh, we are getting along, okay. <laughs> I could be silly, you know, that's just me. But, um, anyway, but yeah. Um, so I really admire her because she just came back from the brink. It was almost to the point of I thought I had to wind up just trashing it and maybe starting over. But um, she's been resilient and here she is and I'm loving her. Uh, my next plant, you guys. Um, let's see, I'm trying to do something different. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and show y'all. Of course, it had to be a Hoya in here. I don't know. I'm not even planning it, you guys. It always almost wound up being at least one Hoya in my selection. And I don't even want to, even though I'm a Hoya hit, that doesn't mean you all are a Hoya hit. So I don't really want to oversaturate uh, this channel with the Hoyas too much. I do want to try to give us as much varieties as I possibly can, at least within my collection. But needless to say, let me just jump in. I'm rambling on as I always do. Um, but this is... A recent purchase I can't even I don't even know how long I've had this Hoya you guys maybe y'all can help me out because I think y'all was present when I showed y'all the unboxing on the um, mini plant haul for this but this is my Hoya black curve if you remember this plant is very beautiful and really different and unique I think with thin out my other Hoyas because the leaf is pretty wide I mean look at that leaf it's so firm and just strong in structure but what really made me love this plant is because I haven't had it that long but it started growing and not to my surprise I just thought by being like so close to the pot 
um, that it wasn't ready to actually shoot off, but it actually shot off, you guys. Shot off a shoot right here. Ain't that crazy? And grew all these leaves. Now, they are not hardened off yet, but look at look how beautiful it is. And from what trips me out is, um, I guess the way it's being, is potted in this plant. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if it was going to shoot out like some kind of like a bird nest type of vibe. I did not know that it was actually going to, um, you know, shoot out stems unbeknownst to me. And then look, it even have the little baby leaf right here, as well as this little baby guy trying to come out. So literally this came out of nowhere, you guys. And I have it actually on, um, sitting right on one of my, um, I guess my window shelving that I've put onto the windows here. And all the plants that I've put on there has been loving life and it really just, I don't know, it just started taking off. So yeah, I appreciate appreciating the growth that it's giving me because I expected this to be um, slow in growth. So I, I'm very appreciative of this whole stem that I got, but the plant is beautiful and I can't wait to give it enough light so it can help, I guess, promote the black edge that it's known for. But the veination on this plant, you guys, is look at that, even from the back as well as the front. I appreciate the veination in Hoyas, so beautiful. Okay, so my next one is another plant I don't know how long I've had in my collection, but it's a fairly new plant. So I know it hasn't been a year, let alone, I don't even think I've had this plant for six months. Try not to break the stem. And it's one of my skin dabs is that I truly love. I think this, this one needs some water too, but to show it to you guys. And this is my silver lady. Is a silver lady? Yeah. Guys, God dang. Look at that. I was drawn to this particular skin dabs is because of not only, of course, most of the skin dabs is exotica, silvery ann, um, Pick this Argerius, you know, they do have the beautiful silver markings, but it, I feel like it has a little bit more, and I love the shape of the leaves. It's flat, but it's subtly elongated with a very pointy tip. You don't see that with the Exotica or the Silver Splash even, but um, it's just been growing. I have it on uh, one of my ring walls in my dining room, and it's getting a medium. I would classified to a medium um, light type of situation and it gave me so far since I've had it it gave me this leaf right here and it's curling up so I, I need to give this a drink and this little babe this little leaf right here but it's also trying to give me new growth right here so I do know and look at the aerial roots you guys this is going to be a good plant to propagate so I probably will do that in the growing season and from what I can see yeah this soil is definitely dry I never potted it up in anything and look at the roots I probably do need to make a decision to say okay Pam maybe pot it up just put it in this oh, gosh what is it? This terracotta pot. I had a brain fart, freeze, whatever you want to call it, but um, put it in this ter terracotta pot and um, it'll probably do better because the soil is very dry and brittle like. So it probably would do very well with some fresh soil and maybe I won't have to water it as often as I noticed that I am. And I may also take the opportunity to actually snip these babies. Look, they're just dying to grow some roots here. Very beautiful. I might just go ahead and just you know cut it off and chop it and make five six leaves off of this um, especially like right here because I don't like it when it starts having a long internodes and I only know that which is weird I think it's because it's not getting maybe as much light as it should I'm not sure but yeah I love it silver lady and also too I got this Silver Lady, and I keep bringing it up because Silver Lady from the plant farm, it was a good deal. I want to say I paid like 35 ish maybe $40 for this, I think, which I thought was actually, honestly, a good deal um, because the Silver Lady 
at least I haven't seen the price really come down that much, but it's kind of up there um, beyond what I'm willing to pay for a plant. You know, if you're able to afford it, great. But I thought it was a super good deal um, for them to have it here. And I, I just, I'm glad I took um, took the opportunity to do so. But yeah, Silver Lady. Okay, my next one is my um, Syngonium. And I'm sharing this one with you guys because uh, it's growing nicely, but I'm really not even paying it any mind. And it is growing nicely. But this is my confetti syngonium and you want to know what guys i want to say shoot all the plants so far with the exception of the synanthe i've gotten from the plant farm i told you guys majority of the plants that i do buy i gotta say i i, I do get them from the plant farm um but anyway and if you want to you know check them out click that link in the description um but this is my confetti syngonium and I am loving it for two things. I love the subtleness of the pink, you see? And it doesn't have that much confetti in going on, actually. Um, and I think that part is because where I have it, I have it sitting like on a, a plant stand. It's actually on the floor of my plant stand. So it's getting medium um, artificial lighting at that for my Sansi light. Uh, but this leaf right here represents, if, I don't know if the cameras can pick it up. I can see it on my end, but I, I really can't tell if y'all can see it, where you can see the little flecks of pink in it, that confetti look to it. But outside of that, the beautiful, I guess, what is this, mint? Mint color, so pretty, you guys. Um, It will, see this leaf, I just wanna show y'all. I was gonna cut it off, but I like being fully disclosed with you guys. So we can learn together because I don't know everything when it comes to these plants. I just try to share what I do know or what I've come across or what I've experienced. But anyway, this is what happens when you don't water it in a timely fashion. So syngoniums, you know, they don't like drying out completely. But because I have it in a medium artificial light situation that's on the floor, like I made a mention earlier, I don't water it that often. And it does for the most part. It's been working, you guys. But look at... Cause it's just one it's apps it's just one plant in here and for it to be just one plant i gotta say i think it's kind of pretty you know nice a nice size for it to be just one st stalk or stem too bad i don't have a bunch of it so it could look really full but i'm really appreciating it and admiring it or appreciating the color that is giving me and it's just so beautiful and i got a new leaf trying to unfurl right here um i don't think this leaf is going to have any pink it looks like it might have some speckling of pink in it but yeah i just love it it's just so beautiful and i don't know i think <laughs> it's like, i showed y'all this pot before but you know this pot is cute isn't it i got this pot you know right ain't you guys that end of the season deals when um their $20 pots instantly become like two dollars that's when that's the time to snatch them and that's what I do I like live at right aid to, to, to do just that because they do be having some cool pots but I digress I just think that this beautiful um, blue plays off well with this um, subtle light pink color with the mint but yeah the confetti syngonium okay so my last plant you guys um, that I'm loving one. I think I put this on my Instagram. I don't know, a few weeks ago. Or I don't know when I put it. I do believe I've, I put it somewhere. <laughs> um, and because I had repotted it into this, uh, I guess, I don't know if you what kind of pot you would call this. But this is my Monstera Peru. Um, what Would y'all call this a cauldron pot? It's cute. Guys, isn't that nice? Um, but anyway, I pot it up in here. Um, this is not the big mother plant that you guys seen me do the unboxing for or the plant haul a while back. Um, that plant is still alive and is still happily chilling and thriving inside my um, dining room. But I wanted to actually, this is my favorite one, um, or I'm admiring this one. The reason why is because this was actually... Um, a propagation, I think, two leaves. 
I don't even know what happened. I don't know if I broke the leaves off or something by chance and just was able to um, pot it up or plant it up. Or if I did some chopping of the plant back. So I'm not sure. But anyway, it was just two cuttings, you guys. And it took a while for this to actually start growing. I didn't even start seeing any form of growth until actually this past growing season. And man, it's just... Since it started, it just seems to still be taking off. And, you know, I have, what, one, two, three, and then two leaves unfurling at the same time, um, which tells me that this plant is really loving life. But look, you see this leaf right here hasn't unfurled yet. And then this one, which is also looks like it's going to be a nice size. It hasn't unfurled yet. And... I have it in a very airy mix right now. I had potted it up because it was in, um, I guess I had it in a two inch planter when I had just the two leaves and uh, the roots, I noticed I was watering it a little bit too much. So I figured it was time to upsize it into this four inch planter. And I'm glad that I did because I do believe this beautiful, look at that, the contrast of the pot with this beautiful green and just the bubbling or buckling of the leaves is very beautiful. Give me like the dinosaur vibe that I would see in maybe like a dragon scale or something like that allocation. But this is very beautiful, you guys. And this leaf, um, I think, was one of the first leaves to have um, grown from since I had propagated the two leaves. So, yeah, and it's coming along. Sitting in my kitchen on the window sill. Just pretty much sit in and forget it. So, yeah, I mean, the color, the texture, the growth factor is the reason why it's top tier in my personal opinion. So, yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video, you guys. Comment below. Let me know what plants in your collection, you guys, that you would consider top five. It gets harder the larger your collection becomes. But if you have a small, um, it gets harder to, you know what? I take that back. It, I, it's hard either way because now that I'm thinking about it. If your collection is large, you have a plethora of plants to, to, to pick um, and you have the choices. But then when your plant um, collection is small, then you're like really it makes your pickings even harder because I think you're being even more strategic and thought as far as what's your favorite. But comment below. Let me know what would be your top five picks out of your collection. Do you have any of the plants that I picked for my top five? Um, any care tips you can provide to not only me, but this beautiful plant community. And, um, yeah, let's just start a conversation as we always do. This pretty much wraps it up, you guys. Keep in mind, if you love foliage as much as I do and you love listening to planty things, subscribe to this channel. If you have not, um, push those thumbs up to help my channel get out there to new plant parents. Also, I appreciate any and all of y'all support and commenting. I love chit-chatting with you guys. Um, enjoy your day wherever you are in the world. And until next time, guys, much love. Bye.